Welcome to a spreadsheet for solving groundwater flow and pollution problems. <coughs> this spreadsheet is uh, how to construct a model, a finely different model for confining st static uh, flow conditions with uh, constant transmissivity and grid dimension delta x equal delta y. I use a 2D block to center a finely different grid. Previously, I explained how to construct a 2D maze center finely different grid. So I'm going to explain here only the main uh, difference. So let's begin first to choose the iterative option of Excel. The input data, transmissivity and grid dimensions. And uh, our uh, equation, our finite different equation that apply to all the flow domain. This is our very simple model and it, it applies except for the boundaries. So uh, this is the same uh, model, yields a slightly different from the previous mesh uh, centered uh, grid model. And here the no flow boundaries are located on the side of the cells or the block centered cells. So here we have no flow boundary, no flow boundary, no flow boundary, and constant air boundary. So uh, this uh, 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 we have here in this worksheet the heads, and it depends on the pumping well rates. Here we have here two wells, yeah, and the discharge rate in cubic meters per day, and infiltration. The infiltration in millimeters per day is almost the same as the previous uh, 2D image center find a different grid. Okay, so let's zoom in just to uh, put our equation in, a, in any cell a little bit more. Okay, here we are. So let's choose any cell, for example this one. L5 and with this equation we construct our model so it depends on the left head or left cell plus the right plus the upper plus the bottom divided by 4 again is some kind of a uh, head average minus Q located in L6 minus L6 here okay minus infiltration inf here L6 okay here we are the infiltration here is in millimeters per day but the equation is in meters per day so let's divide it by 1000 and let's continue here and we can use uh, parentheses here multiply by delta x square here and square yes okay and divided by four times the transmissivity and here we have the transmissivity and that's it now let's check our formula okay it looks right let's zoom out again okay so we can copy our equation our cell in the entire flow domain here we are and uh, let's continue with the constant health boundary uh, suppose uh, we have there or uh, we measure zero water level so okay so now we have the our constant health boundary now the no flow boundary let's uh, uh, begin with this one for a block uh, 
center to find a different grid one way to remember is as follow we don't have a uh, row tree here so we can delete it this one but here divided by three and here also divided by three so let's copy that okay now this corner we don't have the ad cell so let's delete it and here divided by two here also divided by two okay now this one we don't have the ad cell so column here let's delete it divided by three because we have only three cells and here also divided by three okay copy paste now this bottom right corner and here we don't have the row 17 so let's delete it divided by 2 and here divided by 2 else. now this one again the row 17 okay to delete that divided by 3 and here divided by 3 okay copy and paste okay if we don't make any mistake uh, well we have here our uh, uh, boundary value problem and uh, well let's begin remember you can use f9 or just run model here and you could see in the bottom part the number of iteration okay 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 so that's our solution well <coughs> now let's see how uh, uh, well it, it is very easy to for example if if we have here as in the previous example uh, some kind of uh, a corner a different boundaries let's copy from here okay and let's suppose we have this boundary okay let's uh, okay now here we are so we don't have these cells so uh, this corner we don't have the AA so let's delete that and divide it by 2 and here also divide it by 2 this one uh, oh, uh, also well we are correct uh, here we don't have again the AA cells so oh, the AA column let's delete it divided by 3 uh, here divided by 3 okay this is an open cell so we don't have to change here we don't have the row 5 so again and here divided by 3 here also divided by 3 ok so this is the same as this one let's copy paste and this one we don't have the AD so let's delete it divide it by 2 so that's an easy way to remember how to put our, our equation our correct equation in uh, any type of boundaries so if we don't make any mistake let's see run the model again okay so that's the 
our solution, you see that here we have that corner. Okay, thank you very much.